तरुण सर स्टार्ट सर स्टार्ट सर योर लाइव गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी आई एम डॉक्टर धूर्ज टी मजूमदार आई एम ए रिटायर्ड साइंटिस्ट जी फ्रॉम डी आर डी ओ and i am a founder member founder of the argosol dot in which is a platform for all sorts of ergonomic solution problem in industry agriculture and any kinds of manufacturing process or home anywhere else i am the vice president of the indian society of ergonomics today i am giving an webinar in response to the invitation from ekin care on the work from home problem issues related to ergonomics uh, which is a very very new subject in india uh, and also the a brief and giving a, a a detail about the problems you faced while working from home i will tell you a little bit briefly about what is ergonomics because there is a lot of misconceptions on ergonomics in india because it is considered as a part of the economics in order to do so i will share with some of the slides with you which i normally show it to the people everywhere i go on first of all ergonomics is a subject is a multidisciplinary subject it takes into account man in the, human in the center point i will use the term man because uh, i will use the term man because uh, human because uh, now everybody women and men are working together in any work environment it is the center of the portion is the new, uh, human and it is encircled with his machine workspace and environment there is not a single uh, situation in our life uh, where we are not encircled with our workspace and environment and we are always in the center point even when you are sleeping we are doing some kind of work because some amount of energy is spent if your bed is not proper if your environment is not proper you cannot sleep also properly now the question is when the man or human is in the pivotal point how ergonomics is defined ergonomics contribute to the design and evaluation of tasks jobs products environments and systems in order to make them compatible with the very specifically please remember with the needs your abilities and limitations of the people we always know what is our abilities what we can do but we are less careful about what are the limitations of a human if you look at my screen you can see we have got limitations all sorts of limitations we have got anthropometric or uh, geometric uh, li limitations we have got postural and biomechanical limitations we cannot reach beyond that we have got physiological limitations we have got uh, uh, strength characteristic limitations we cannot see beyond that we cannot uh, hear beyond these uh, frequencies we have metabolic limitations if you see the metabolic aspects of us the energy expenditure part so our whole metabolic system is only 40% effective even god could not create us 100% effective only 40% of the metabolic energy which consume and ultimately it is converted into atp which we use for other all sorts of purposes 60% of the energy it goes for the waste and in many more everywhere we have got the limitations in that with that background the ergonomics or the human factors which is also known in other parts of the world other than asia and african countries it says that ergonomics is fitting the task to the person it can be the use the rules of work work smarter not harder or make things user friendly if you go and type the ergonomics definition in the internet you will find there are hundreds of definitions so in order to streamline this it says that ergonomics is study of man's behavior in relation to his work ergonomics can be defined as the science technology and art of man at work ergonomics is concerned mainly there is a very specialized definition that ergonomics is concerned with the design of facilities your equipment your tools and tasks that we are doing regularly and that are compatible with your anatomical your physiological your biomechanical 
perceptual and behavioral characteristics of human beings. And this anatomical, physiological, biomechanical, perceptual and behavioral characters encompasses everything of a human being that you understand. Now, there is an international ergonomics association which has defined, which is the governing body of ergonomics and its activities in the whole world. It defines that ergonomics is the scientific discipline concerned with the understanding of interactions among humans, other elements of a system. We are everywhere within a system and a, a profession that applies theory, principle, data and methods to design in order to optimize the human well-being and overall system performance. So therefore, it says that ergonomics is systematically fitting the job to the person instead of the person to the job. Because the previous concept is that even that today many people, everybody or why many people, everybody thinks the man can be recruited and he can be fitted to any kind of job. And the greatest mistake takes place always because man has got all limitations, but machine or the work has got no limitations. So if we can design the job or design the machine, design the task in with the keeping in uh, keeping in um, view the limitations of a human being, then we can. There will be a highest compatibility, and when there is a high, highest compatibility, there will be an optimal human performance in optimal productivity. Any good ergonomics is synonymous to a good and sound design. So, what ergonomics says? The ergonomics says that it is a combination of many subjects. It takes into account the anthropology, physiology. It takes into account the medicine, the psychology, the physics, the chemistry, and also the biomechanical issues also. So ergonomics, uh, what are the different domains and specialization of ergonomics? Throughout the world, ergonomics is highly developed in Europe and American countries. And ergonomics has uh, taken care of mainly these five areas, but it is not limited. First one is the physical ergonomics, wherever man is working, there is a this subject takes into account what it says it involves the human anatomy anthropometry physiology biomechanics your posture your manual metal handling repetitive movements musculoskeletal disorders workplace layout safety occupational health accident prevention and all the other issues is the cognitive ergonomics or the mental issues it takes into account the mental process the perception what is your memory says how your reasoning takes into account and your motor responses simultaneously with very specifically the sensory motor responses. So it takes into account the both the physical ergonomics part and also the mental issues of a person. So you can see this is the subject. This is the only subject in the world which can take into account in any workplace, in anywhere, your physical thing as well as in your mental aspect. But it is not limited here. It has got a different another issues also in relation to the work. That is the organizational issues and organizational ergonomics. The socio-technical system, it is an organizational structure. It is the policies or the processes of the employer. They are the deciding factor, the deciding body. The another important, very important issues uh, is the design ergonomics and here because human design of everything we use an interface. It says that everything should be designed in relation to the human body and its limitation. That is, we call it these days with the human centered design. But the body, most importantly, which is very much related to the ergonomics contribution in today's topics is work from home, is the office ergonomics or effects of furniture facilities in relation to the musculoskeletal disorders and prevention and optimize your work uh, and you optimize your work efficiency. I will share with you in this regards a very, very simple slide. This slide was taken in one of the busiest airport in India. You can see there is an electronic gate, but whenever you are in the queue for boarding, you can see that there is an yellow line behind it, which is five to 10 feet away. Mostly it is five feet away, but you can see there are two electronic gates. But we, the people which we cannot take care, we do not take care of the human safety, neither any issues of the accident prevention or all. And we know very well that electronic gate will not function until unless we stay beyond this yellow line. 
but somehow we forget everything and we compromise with our safety okay simultaneously the person who is boarding who is actually searching you and putting the stamp in your boarding pass he is the most important part you know that how many times he bent daily he bends enormously number of times hundred of times can you think of that a person can bend like that and walk accordingly simultaneously the persons who are working behind the screen that is who are actually x-raying your machines and luggage they sit like that and work continuously for daily eight hours a day the similar side of situation and happen in any workplace if you walk like that continuously for several hours you are bound to develop back pain low back pain and many other things so most important part of the ergonomics issue is again that the variability and reliability the variability means what is the variations of the human being one of the important issues what i said that there is an enormous difference between men and women there is an enormous difference in their strength characteristics a women's strength character is always 30 to 40 percent less than a human being so anything and everything while well, you are trying to design or fitting the same kind of job for the women and men it is a misconception everywhere and wherever it has taken it has it has not gained the proper result okay so i will uh, uh, take little bit about also in ergonomics so there are three issues then in work environment one is the worker and he always carry he or she always carry some of the risk factors with him then the second one is the uh, job that is that there are some inherent risk factors with the job itself which we bring which itself bring to the water what actions or movements are required to complete a task and the third most important part is environment that i have discussed again there are inherent factors or risk factors that are uh, that are imbibed in the work itself keeping in all this thing in mind there are uh, there are uh, these issues these are very important issues in relation to your ergonomics your safety and occupational health why i am telling you all this thing in the background because these are the thing which will which will uh, make you understand that what is the role of ergonomics in making your making you more comfortable make you more more productive make you more productive and simultaneously it will maintain your optimum performance and keep you fit okay so first of all is the compatibility in any kind of the job in any kind of work environment whenever whosoever you are we are all locked down in our home environment but you should be compatible both physically and mentally you should feel that you can do it if it is not comfort comfortable your work environment you have to make it comfortable to a great extent or to a minimum extent i should say so that you can produce large amount of your work capacity okay and mentally also you should be you should see so these are the period which will overcome very soon second thing if you are comfortable with the system if you are comfortable with the with your home work environment then you should be more comfortable if you are comfortable if your compatibility is high if you are comfortable then the next com question comes your posture you have to maintain always a neutral posture you cannot always raise your hands and stand like that you know this is a very difficult thing you cannot sit in un, uh, you cannot maintain an unequal posture for a long time what we say always it is an unergonomic posture that is a posture which is deviated from the normal which or neutral which always try to maintain if you can maintain your compatibility there is a comfort and you can maintain your posture just so you can man maintain your performance when there is a performance so you can make a lot of production when there is an optimum production or maximum production the quality of life and quantity of product will also increase so now now the question comes here again uh, uh, i will go back to my slides again and uh, it says that uh, um, i will show you some slides later on that while people are nowadays working from the home so i have taken 15 minutes for this and the 50 rest of the 15 minutes i will try to share with you that what you should do 
uh, in your work environment from working from home. You know that uh, these days, uh, this is a very new work environment for uh, many of the Indians, um, both male and female working population, which is not very uncommon in European and American environment. And also to some extent, a, a lot of people, those who are in the IT sector, they can work from home continuously for ages together. But those for them which are uh, which uh, for them which is totally a new environment, this is a, a very different scenario. Many of you, those who are working with a computer or laptop, this lecture is mainly for them. Now, what happens when you are working with the laptop or your desktop PC? You 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 have to at the beginning of the day you have to uh, you have to decide what is your total work load and how long it will take time okay and if that is the issue then the question comes is you have to uh, plan accordingly that what you should do the second most important thing is that you have to uh, find out an appropriate place in your um, home environment there should be a proper desk and proper chair and you will also have your desktop pc or your laptop Mostly we are uh, working and compatible with our laptop. If that is the scenario, if you have got a proper desk and a proper chair, then you must see that if the chair is, uh, is, is an uh, height adjustable chair is always better. If the height adjustable chair is not there, that you must see that the uh, chair height is such that your knee uh, maintain a 90 degree angle mostly with the chair itself and with a 90 degree knee angle should be maintained for proper sitting height determination. If that is so, then you must see that your <clears throat> foot should be raised properly on the floor, okay? Because foot should never be hang like that in any way. It should be rested properly with a foot raised or in the floor itself. If this is there, then what should be the desktop height? Desktop height should be like that, that your uh, elbow, it, it should be at your elbow height. Preferably it should be your elbow height. And when it is so, then the question comes, you put it your laptop. When you are putting your laptop there, if it is laptop is not coming into the proper height, then you have to use a laptop stand. If you do not have a laptop stand, kindly use any books or any other thing so that the laptop screen should come to such a height that its stoppage should be at the eye level, okay? And the very specifically, the total screen of the laptop, you should keep it such a distance, it should make a 15 degree angle. It should be within the leather, 15 degree angle of the total screen. If you keep a laptop within 18 to 24 inch of your distance, then it will automatically be there within the 15 degree angle. Normally, a 15 degree angle is the best angle for the eye to see or view in any kind of work screen. Now, once this is done, your screen is there, your laptop is placed properly, then preferably you should use a separate keyboard and separate mouse. Why? Because you are not static. You, you can maintain a dynamic posture. You can change your posture if, so that you can keep your, uh, keep your um, hands free to a great extent because you need not to keep your finger or hand always on top of the laptop and use it because then there is a discomfort generated on your finger and hand and automatically it stresses it it gives a lot of stress to your shoulder muscle and back muscles also once this is done so that what i said is the laptop stand if it is not laptop stand is not there then you use it a raised desktop raised uh, uh, you the prep, uh, raise the plat, uh, desktop by putting uh, some sorts of books or any other thing below the um, screen. Once this is done, you should see that wherever you are sitting, there should be enough space in front of you so that you can move your knee and you can move your legs properly at, in front of you. Because if you cannot do it, then I should tell you what happens normally uh, with, a, with, a, with a proper slide. You know, if when you are sitting in uh, this posture in front of a uh, in front of a computer, then there have you you can develop lots of problem. 
it can be an upper back and neck discomfort because if you should see that you can sit properly and without bending. In order to do, do so, you should always use your back support. You should not sit on a, a stool, but rather a chair which has got a back support. And the back support must be there on your lower back only. If there is no lower back support proper, use a roll towel or a pillow behind it so that your lower back should always be supported. You should not sit like this kind of knee posture because it causes a lot of problem. Although, but there should be enough space in front of your knee and leg. And in order to maintain your eye, uh, that you should not have any eye strain and eye burning eyes, you should always blink it. You should keep the screen, as I told you, at the eye level. Your wrist and arm should not feel any discomfort. It should be properly at, with the, in line of your body. The shoulder and elbow should be, uh, should be, should, should, should be always properly relaxed and it should, there should be no stress on it. So there should not develop any kind of lower back problem and discomfort, no muscle aches and any other things. So accordingly, we can see that uh, uh, that uh, once you are uh, using the height adjustable chair, you can also use your lower back and you can use your height and the screen height and all. And always, as I mentioned, you you always a, uh, you always use a back support and do not lean or stoop or bend back in posture. You should always see that you can maintain your neck within 15 to 20 degree angle. Neck should not be inclined in the forward angle position. And the most importantly, you should make, maintain the flexibility. Never work continuously for more than 20 to 30 hours in a sitting posture, in one static sitting posture. Get up, take micro breaks. Get up and take micro breaks. We call it a micro breaks. Sometimes you can do the macro, macro break also. Micro breaks in terms we say, that is you follow the 20, 20, 20 rules. In 20, 20, 20 rules, you walk for 20 minutes, take a break for 20 seconds, and look at a distance of 20 feet and do any kind of activities in 20 seconds so that you come back again to your work. But when you are working from home, you have got, if you have got enough time, so you can, you can do a lot of things of yourself if you can plan accordingly. But you should always see that your shoulder and back muscle should not strain at any cost. Whenever you get a macro break, you can go outside in the balcony, you can move around, you can do any kind of the stretch ex exercises so that your um, static posture of your muscles are always lost. And for that, how, what kind of different exercises you can do, uh, uh, I can tell you. But before that, I will show you that if you maintain a poor posture, you can have back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, arm pain, all sorts of pain. And it will really, it will uh, be reflected in your workplace states. It can cause a repeated strain injury or lost time. You uh, reduce productivity, low moral and higher cost. So in order to maintain your, uh, in your, uh, uh, in your proper posture, either you are working standing or you are con or con sitting, you have to maintain the, your SCPET card properly. Okay, and uh, in order to maintain the stupid car, what you have to do it, there are a few things I will tell you that, uh, as I mentioned you already, that you should sit properly with an adjustable chair, your back should be properly rested and supported with a, a pillow or with a roll towel, and you should, uh, your neck should not incline uh, more than 15 to 20 degree. Your shoulder and arm should be relaxed. You should move also every 20 minutes, get up, go somewhere, walk. Now, this is a postural uh, posture, which is previously used in the draftsman table. You can see that this is a, uh, this is a situation uh, where they used to take several kinds of posture, but it is very difficult to say which posture is comfortable and which posture is not comfortable. But as I can tell you that here, if you see that when people are working, nobody could maintain this kind of posture continuously for eight hours or continuously for one hour or so. So you can change your posture accordingly. 
they are a different type of posture. But when you are doing some micro, <coughs> you are taking some micro break, you can do all sorts of exercise which are available on the internet. But very simple type of exercise for that, you can do sitting on your chair itself. You not, need not to get up also if required. If uh, required, if you get enough time, you get up, do some work, take a glass of water, take enough juices during the working and come back and start working properly, okay? So uh, the question comes again that uh, uh, during this micro break or stretch break, you try to maintain your, um, do all sorts of activities. But very importantly, you it is that another thing is the important issues is the natural lighting try to use as much natural lighting as possible enough light should be there on your uh, computer screen and uh, otherwise you should not work in improper lighting but enough lighting should not means there should be a glare or reflection on your screen okay so and also simultaneously that you should not strain your eyes eyes but very importantly that while you are not using your um, not using your computer or laptop but you are working on an audio system or a conferencing, audio conferencing, then you can take any kind of posture. That is, you can lay down um, lying on the floor, lying on your sofa. But some people are there, those who are not having any appropriate desk or chair in their house, but they can sit, they have to sit on your bed on or a sofa and they have to work uh, from home. It is advisable that you straight sit straight on your sofa but always try to maintain always try to maintain that your back is supported because back is a very important thing and simultaneously your neck should not incline your head should not bend forward much because you know that our joint muscular system is there that if there is anything wrong it after some time or working for some day it starts paining so i we do not want that you should go into a Pain, um, take on painkillers to reduce this thing, but by maintaining simple ergonomic principles, you can maintain. Uh, you can maintain. Now it says previously that uh, I will show you one of the very important slides, uh, which I always show it to everybody wherever I go. You see that you can stand, then you can uh, sit upright sitting. The second posture uh, is a very traditional posture. It is auto advisable. It is called as a 90 degree. It is 90 here, it is 90 here, it is 90 here. But there is another posture. It is called a declined sitting posture, which is a 110, 110, and 110, okay? It can be 120, 125 also. In kind is a declined sitting posture. Very importantly, it is very difficult to decide these days uh, that which posture is best. But previous, now people prefer in the IT sectors to work on sometimes in the standing posture or half standing or sitting. But people do not suggest these postures. But the mere modern concept says that all postures are good posture. A neural, neutral position is one in which joints are naturally aligned and this reduces the stress and strain on the muscle tendons and skeletal system. It is recommended that you change your positive position regularly, continuously, frequently, and work at your uh, flexibility and um, at your wish. But you must see that, that, uh, that you do not stretch uh, yourself or stress yourself too much, but you can do your work comfortably. So before completing the webinar, I tell you that if you have got any queries, and uh, regarding the ergonomics and how you can improve the productivity of your uh, system, of your organization. I am always there. You can uh, come to me with uh, uh, www.argozol.in. Okay. Or Ekin Care can help you in this regard. Thank you very much.